יש כוח להעלות אותם המים למקום גבוה אחר, כנגד גובה המקום שיוצאים ממנו. Because, and he's not even telling us what he's talking about. At first it's very interesting, very, it's very water. He's just talking about water flowing from a very high place. Very high place, and it flows down here. Picture a waterfall. It flows into a pool. So he says, because that water comes from a very high place, it's possible to raise them back up to the to the same height from which they came. What did he just tell us? Is that true? Is that possible? Where do you where where is this coming from? What's this water stream we're talking about? And basically again the only way to begin to understand is to go inside. That's what he's going to help us to do. This water he's talking about is not water. The water spring is not a water spring. It's not salt. This is mine, not me, mine, different? Not, not yet. That, that comes in, but uh, right now it's just using this beautiful image of the water. Bechem Yedua, the Baalei Kabbalah. And so it is known to the masters of the, the, of the secret tradition, of the received tradition. Ki machshabat ha'adam, the consciousness, the human consciousness, the human thought. Ki mamakor ha'nefesh ha'sikli. It comes from the higher message called the Shama. Thought comes from the ability to think comes from the Shama. Shinimshacha Mida El Yinim. And that Nishama that we have in itself is drawn from the from the upper world. Again, we don't understand what he's saying at first. We're just seeing how he unfolds what he means. What happens when a person wants to write something like this is he has a seed thought. He now unfolds that seed thought into words, and at a certain point we begin to get the idea, and we can then go back and le- learn it again and see that it was all there at the first sentence. But it's still so packed in, that's why I call it a zip file. The second paragraph. <laughs> It is in, within the realm of possibilities of the power of our thought, of our consciousness, to divest itself, what I call here in the left and the in the English, to divest itself of left brain rational thought, to divest itself of that, and to rise up to its source. <laughs> And then when it gets to the source above, as he nidzeket be'or ha'elyon, it can then bind itself to the upper light, shemisham nimshacha, from which it comes. It's only going home. If we consider this home, and that that's a long trip, we'll never get there. But if we know that that's home, and we just came on a trip, but we'll always connect it to home, then, oh, it's just like going home. It's sending our thought up to where it came from. And the thought that I send up becomes one with the source from which it came. Let's see the English. Because it is, it is rooted in, in the Shama, which itself is rooted in the upper world, makshava, thought, consciousness, therefore has the ability to divest itself from left brain discursive thought to rise up and to reach up to its place of origin. When it arrives at the source, it bonds with and merges into the supernal light from which it was drawn. She, the makshava, and he, the upper source, bond and become one. <coughs> So then now let's say, let's just say, even if we've been done it, but let's just say we understand what he just said. And we've, we've, bound, we've bonded or we've bound our thought on high. So what happens now when we come down? Let's say we're going to come down. That's what he says. When now 
we bring consciousness down from above to below. Yes, this can be likened to a cob, to a pipeline, or, a, or as I say here in the English, an umbilical cord. And the, the, the light that we touched upon, that we bonded, bonded with above, now becomes the thought that as our consciousness as it comes down becomes a pipeline to bring nourishment down from the upper part of our soul, the upper root of our soul, into ourselves. Uh, again, who would write something like this, right? <laughs> he doesn't, he, he, it's, it's purposely not technical. <clears throat> but there's a movement. Since the water begins above, even when it comes below, so it has the potential to go back up to its original height. With that, then that's how we begin. Now, once we've we've now established that fact, then we say that our consciousness then can go back up to its root in its origin. Once it does that, in a sense, it attaches itself to there. Even after after it merges, it now attaches a part of itself there and draws a line down from the the upper origin down back into us. And that line becomes a pipeline for being able to receive. Well, wasn't that pipeline there before? Did, is it what we have to create it. We we have to go there and connect ourselves to it consciously in order to draw it down. It's interesting. Maybe it was there in potential, but it, it requires us to consciously connect with our source and our root above in order to make that connection to draw down that life force. In the Hebrew, it's the fifth word on the second line. Vinimsa shechina lamata. Umitok kach az haor habahir nimshach umitpashet baoto makom shibal hamoach yoshev shah. Let's see the English. When Mashava then returns to flow back down from above, this can be likened to a kav, a pipeline. It is through the kav that supernal light is drawn down below by the power of Mashava. It is through the kav that light is drawn down below. That light is drawn down below by the power of thought, by the power of consciousness. With this we find that Shina has been brought down below and is now dwelling within you. With this we find that Shina has now been brought down below and is now dwelling within you. In doing so, the brilliant light of the upper source is drawn down to spread forth into, ev- into the very place that you, the master of thought, exists. <coughs> that sounds great. Um, maybe we should try it. But <laughs> But I want to read a little bit more first. That's where your text ends. Mine goes on a little bit after the next page. And it ends like this. The Kenna Yu of Hasidim Arishonim Madbikim Hamachshava Ba'ayoni. And so it was, this is exactly how the pious men of old, this is what they used to do. They would attach their Machshava on high. Again, Machshava is thought with a capital T, or consciousness, the power of consciousness. Now, what's, what, what's wrong with Western man is Western man emphasized action and maybe a little bit of, of feeling and maybe a little bit of speech, but thought is so vague and so unreal to Western man that he doesn't even know he has a world of thought. Of course, there is the intellectual. There's the Einstein. The Einstein who says, all of a sudden it came to me and I worked backwards to make the theory. He realizes that thoughts don't just come from nowhere. They're not just logical progression. They are gifts. So there are the great men, the great men and the great women who know that thought is not just